share with you mm, that is the school uh, that we apply for i started to a student visa uh, student permit to canada all right this is just a video to share with you my experience or my knowledge and the things that you need to know in order to apply for the successful student permit or student visa so please stay tuned this insightful tutorial from progress to share for others to also benefit from this particular tutorial all right if you are my follower you by now be interested in moving to canada through education there are a lot of you who have been inboxing me on how and on how to move to Canada through the video tutorial that I've been doing on some objective universities and colleges in Canada. My guy, that is not the the end of the game. All right, when you receive your um, admission from the school, that is not the end of the road. That is just the beginning of uh, your life is on process and it's one of the top and the most serious hurdle that you need to overcome in um, putting things together to apply for your student visa or the student permit all right so i am here to share with you on how to apply for your student permit or visa to some of the things that visa application upgrade all right so please share for other people to also benefit from this particular tutorial Alright, so without much ado, I am going to go straight to the reason why I am live now. This is just to share with you my experience on how I was able to successfully get my student permit approved and finally I moved to Canada. Alright, so um, <coughs> first of all, the things that you need for your student visa application have been categorized into five things i personally for me all right so you will need the admission letter which is the easiest part if you've been following my video tutorials on chief colleges and universities and how to apply to those schools at least you will be able to have your admission letter in safe hands all right so your admission letter is one of the first and serious document that you need to have before thinking about applying for your student visa all right and the other thing that you need to know is your proof of funds all right your proof of funds is one of the documents that will prove to the visa officer that you have the required funds in order to pick up yourself and your school that you intend to um, come to canada to study all right the third thing that you need to prove to the visa officer is your family ties back home all right so the visa officers want to know um, the things that will push you to return back to your home country when you are done schooling in canada all right the next thing that you need to have in mind and to prepare before um, starting your visa application process is letter of explanation all right um, with the canada visa processing they usually do not request for one-on-one -on -one visa interviews all right so the letter of explanation is the only thing that will tell the visa officer everything about you and the reason why he or she should approve your student visa for you to um, move to canada to study the program that you have gained admission for all right and the last thing 
mentioned like this from church and your company your your company boss or your school all right so we will dive more deeper into these five categories that i have listed on the screen so we're gonna start with proof of funds all right like i said with the admission letter it is straightforward you you want to get this document the only way is for you to apply to um, most of the schools that i have made videos on all right so we are not going to talk much about that just for you to let you know that you need your admission letter before you can apply for the student visa all right the second thing is about the proof of funds all right so um, the proof of funds is one of the most critical things that you need to have Proof of funds is one of the most critical documents or critical things that you need to have to show the visa officer that you can take care of yourself without any government intervention. All right. So, according to me and from the experience of what I did, was you know I had a bank statement, my personal funds, and then they can also um, include family members' uh, bank statement. But of course, you need to let them know the intention of um, getting their bank statement to add to um, your visa application process. All right, and if you have any family member providing you with their bank statement, you need to make sure that you do what we call affidavit of support. All right, so in Ghana, Charlie Okotama um, from Iwana, you have a lot of commissioners over there. Or you have a lot of people. Or support is your family member pledging that he or she is going to support you to take care of you in order to finish with your diploma in Canada and uh, that is the reason why they are adding their bank statement don't just go for their bank statement and then add it to the application all right I was say uncle here affidavit of support okay not say okay sure my family member we or for me to bank statement affidavit of support and more sent to me all that definitely not they will write something nice and then they will have it signed by your family member and then commission of oath you will have to put on the seal in it also all right again if you have a company who is sponsoring you definitely they have to do that affidavit of support and again to know i was a family member and our company or organization now a sponsor on what in a bank statement so on so on so letter telling the visa officer say oh yeah so so and so person now or even now i have missing or no now or they in a bank statement now i'm out for for you to add to your visa application senator there um it will choose say yes what penny sent to or what penny sent to or bebo out that kind of thing is a very sweet talk message you know some of my um some of my explanations you know i am going to say them in my local dialect because of how delicate it is but in general what i'm saying is that if the bank statement is coming from you you don't need affidavit of support all right straight away you can add your bank statement to the application and then you are good to go but say unisikana say unisikana no worries you can always get a family member bank statement to add to your application all right so make up family member as a mom is here say gana dear so be a family member okay because any idea visa office and make a share with him to monko hospital not monko yet blood test and not dna test then they are um on the funny i'll say truly truly no or your family member now the visa baby and you know also need to shop so person will cook and forget about bank statement bank statement in there we are watching things over your bank statement and then and then over your bank statement no the most important thing is that over your admission when your school admission now bank statement in the way free up a beer over here so do not worry about bank statement just follow this 
uh, knowledge that I'm sharing, and then with God being by your side, you'll be able to get that dissertation that you need. Okay, so again, sir, bank statements, if you family, any of your family members are, I was all making sure, sir, you'll be here after David of support from our uh, family member and best time. Be David of support me. Or yeah, no, we are now as I draw a very nice, sweet letter. Pledge in saying to you, or no, or this bank statement to your mouth. And uh, or no, so air pledge is saying to you, be a good person. And it's an all sponsor of saying to you, Canada, now best to my school bank. And a bear, go back to Ghana. You'll be able to help community, no, and now you'll be able to help whatever that you are. The next group of fun is fixed assets. Say, who wants to say, so our car, our house, you can also make sure, say, who decide documents, no, the kind of application, no. So, fixed assets, say, who fixed assets, no, usually land, no, um, indenture, no, who better me, a print in a camera, now they are coming. From page one to the last page, I share with P and all those things. Who are Ghana, or some Luffy Sharp, now compare. No, oh, family member be here. Where's my cash and fresh salad? On transfer land into your name now. Don't call it me in danger. So never I think that was it. Within was one. Now I print in the camera. Now they are coming. So never this out if I'm going to hit it. Who are Tatia? Who went to your Canada? Who bet me a crown? So never here. Who bet me a show? And who are cars? Who bet me a print it? The car documents now. Now they are coming with application. And also. Actually, this office and the same thing said, I want you to Canada, who bet me a crown car, no, if you am a South African, who bet me a show. So, we feel so the same process, all right? So, and again, the last one is a pension fund. In Ghana, we have a lot of pension um, contributions, all right? When I used to work in Ghana, and we have something called um, Provident Fund, or yeah, Provident Fund. No, no, usually no, it takes like 10 years for it to be ready for you to use. Okay. Pension funds, no, I am not talking about SNIT, Vienna, or Food, Yasa, so the CP years are over for pension. And also no over media cafe. But that one will be used for family ties or home ties. Alright. So this is just group of funds. Group of funds here. Any asset, whether fixed assets or current asset be a war, Ghana, over to me, you know turn it into physical cash for you to um, use it in Canada when the need comes, all right? So this is the group of funds that you need to focus yourself on, all right? To focus yourself on. To focus yourself on. Um, So the next thing that you need to look out for is your home or country ties. All right. So visa officers, no, usually no, they want to make sure say, yeah, maybe what Ghana, I bet me, I push you to go back to Ghana when you finish with your visa, uh, when you finish with your school in Canada. All right. So you have to prove to the visa officer that you have, oh, and you maybe what Ghana, Charlie. You can't, you can't live in Canada after you are done with school. Oh, when you maybe work Ghana, who you school in pet, who bet me a movie back to um, Ghana. So that is what we call home or country ties. All right. So one of the main things that you need to prove to the visa officer now is your nuclear family ties. All right. Marriage or kids certificate. Say nuclear family no is when you are well warrior, you have to make sure say you have the marriage certificate. So only marriage certificate uh, go to any of the um, municipalities with your wife. So never look for sign a marriage certificate. Don't do any fake stuff because it's here, no. Baby, are we are they do no. Almost all the embassies have um, all the things that they need in order to check whether documents are fake or not. And I can't answer no. Say who present any fake document or any fake anything fake that's a almost defective pair. they can ban you for five years or ten years and when they do that other countries are going to know about that decision because they share the same data all right 
they share the same data so if you don't know and then you do anything fishy it is going to jeopardize your um your voice is down we can barely hear you oh shit um let me try and see if i can do something about the voice Can you hear me now? Please comment on the comment section if you can hear me loud and clear now. All right, thank you. And then um, please comment on the comment section and let me see if you can hear me loud and clear now. Please comment on the comment section and let me see if you can hear me loud and clear now. All right, uh, Ramon, thank you for letting me know. I think I have done some few changes now. Thank you, Don. All right, so yeah, so as I was saying, um, these are the things that you need to prove to the visa officer. Senti, we will school now, over to my returning back to Ghana. All right, your family ties. So your family ties here is. The first one is your nuclear family. Your nuclear family is just your wife and your kids. Or or wife are making sure say um, you have your marriage certificate. Ah, uh, obey me their account application or and uh one call and so I make sure say or more um um birth certificate now obey to me the account. The birth certificate shows the father's name and all those things. Alright, that is the first thing that you need to know. Thank you, Rizozo. I appreciate it. All right, so the next one is um, extended family ties. All right, the extended family ties here is your extended family. Your extended family is your immediate mother, your immediate father. All right, so oh, so when you so now show ma, waiting the amount so I can reason no the reason why you have to return back home to be with your extended family and all that. Your pension plan payment statement. All right, so pension plan payment statement. Yes, send it now. Yeah, you feel it, no, and also no. So, oh, you be a hotel to your snake, ama. With snake statement, is a kind of move do This is where you have to print that snake statement and then you add it to your application. And on the chair, visa office, and he said, Oh, so like, oh, yeah, good, good citizen. You've been paying your snake to the the government and you've been contributing to your future and all that. So, and also, but me, I chair, visa office, and he said, Charlie, oh, you be a you are just coming to study in canada and then you return back to ghana and then work and continue with your snake payment all right so our properties our house our business and so on and also can serve as one of the great great prover hsnt you have something back home you can return to all right job prospect in your home country you also have to demonstrate to the visa office and the same program now over your canada now when you return back home you have a lot of jobs waiting for you to 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 do all right and you know it is also one of the things that you can add to your family or home ties traveling experience traveling experience is also one of the things that can really help your application so we to find that na say you haven't violated that country's immigration policies now and also no can really help you in your home or family ties so we will be a Charlie hotel to coin and Maybe I want to come to US, that want to come to UK, that want to come to Dubai, that I'm a visa no more on the three months, six months. Within that three months, six months, you no, know, you make sure say you don't violate those visa applications, you no, know, um, visa policies, you no. Know. You can also add it to it. All right, thanks, Raymond. So these are the things that you need to make sure that you have before starting your application process all right so let's move to the next one the next one is letter of explanation with canada you they are not going to call you for a visa interview to say the way in the us yeah no 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 canada no document now who present no that is exactly what the visa officer is going to judge you on so you always have to add a letter of explanation this letter of explanation you know, it explains why the visa officer you know, should approve your visa application all right so these are the things that you need to include in your 
letter of explanation. So, who your student? Now, say who will apply for um, a student permit, uh, student visa. Now, say you don't add your letter of explanation. Uh, the chances of your visa being approved no, are very, very minimal. All right. Of course, miracles do happen. I know some one or two incophobia they didn't add any letter of explanation but they were able to get a visa but majority of the people that i know including myself you know we all added a letter of explanation explaining almost everything that the visa officer is supposed to know so the first thing that you need to do on your letter of explanation is to introduce yourself and the program you are going to study in canada and also the school you see you have to introduce yourself i am so so and so i am raymond kotai um um a worker in gasem and i have a degree in accounting completed um legon in 2005 oh so that kind of explanation or some something about you if you have a family you can also introduce your family into it all right i am raymond kote and, and married to um Rizozo, and we have five kids so that kind of explanation you, know, you explain yourself and then you also mention the school that you have gained admission in canada to come and study you know and the year duration all right you know i've gained an admission in um, university of um, mountain and i am due to study from 2024 to 2025 that kind of explanation that should be your first introduction all right who we are the next thing that you need to do is to give details of your academic qualification and your work experience all right you have to list your academic qualification and your work experience but i had me say no you have to be very careful say oh a master's program already i was gonna not say oh maybe um a postgraduate program you don't have to mention your master's program no you only have to mention your degree program when your certificate program you don't have to mention your master's program no you only have to mention your degree program this officer no will not say that ah who a master's program did that and then other now baby certificate program in accounting what do i say so it sounds some kind of fishy so you always have to make sure say you know what to mention when it comes to your academic qualification and the program that you are coming to study in Canada, all right? Do not bring out everything about you. Just make sure that you only list the things that will help your application get approved, all right? Your, you also mentioned your work experience. Mentioning your work experience is very, very vital. I always have to make sure that you mention your work experience. And the third one that you need to mention in your letter of explanation is to explain why you want to study that program in Canada, in that particular school, and why choosing Canada as your place to go and study. All right. Sign your way now. Over to my school website. Now, almost all schools now, yeah, they see a little thing about why you should come and study over there and all that. No, I pick it some few information over there now so the one guys our experience account one of the reasons definitely will be the the tuition fee you know tuition fee is very less as compared to other <coughs> other countries and even within canada cramp no tuition fee you know is less as compared to other universities or colleges those are some of the simple simple things no tuition fee and the environment you no know, and the way our school needs here you no know, you know those are some of the explanations now but mama the reason why you are cho you chose canada as a place of study and that particular school all right the next one is for you to explain how that program is going to help you when you return to your home country after graduating from that program all right you also have to touch on the impact that program will have on you when you return back to ghana your letter of explanation should always be centered on you returning back to ghana and some kind of line or song your name in trust and then say will let off explanation no it should be convincing saying teacher who you will be out there canada no oh but i'm a senior dear keke now we are on your son knowledge now you return back home now returning back home and these are the opportunities for you to go and to make sure say impact now when you are canada no you are going to make an impact also in in ghana so you also have to explain the um why <coughs> 
explain how that program is going to help you when you return to your home country after graduating all right that is very very important the very next one is to give detailed overview of your proof of funds all right visa officers no who prove of funds no what's kind of scan and now they account for applications no most of times no the visa application is not a guam so no a dozen and you know they don't have that much time uh, on to me I go through all your documents, you know, even though they are supposed to do, you know, Charlie, they don't really have that time. They have thousands of thousands of pending visa applications. And, you know, say, oh, application, you know, say one, say one packaging year, send a bear, it will make it easy for the visa officer now. Or the other number two in China, or the more refuse So you have to make sure, say, you give detailed overview of your proof of funds. The am here, or maybe, me this application you must know, say especially the letter of explanation me yeah some nice table be and i may list it, all the um answer me work and i'm baby or more let's say um let's say i have x amount of money or ghana commercial bank me list here personal funds ghana commercial bank in china now me the amount national honor Maybe I'm a worker. My list of car, the type, no. Now me the equivalent amount, no. Ton one. Now me the share one more. Maybe I, my pension fund, no. Provincial pension fund, now I can have access to at any time, no. And also my list of um, company, I work Petra. My list of amount, no. So now me the share one more. Oh, some nice table be a. A bit me a man on overview of the car I work and a face access I work. Ah, we want to work Canada. You'll be able to. You know sell those things to help you out and all that so that is how you should be able to summarize your proof of funds you know now they can with letter of explanation you know. the next one is to pledge to the visa officer say um you will abide by the rules and policies of the student permit and return to your home country after graduation this is very 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 important usually you have to promise and pledge our oh, letter of explanation you know. that is the latter part you know Cindy. um you are assuring him or her saying you are going to abide by the rules and regulations of the um, student permit you know? and when you graduate you move back to your country to you know implement whatever that you have learned in in canada the very last one you know, is for you to attach pictures of your family and your kids together charlie for our family you no know, call some nice photo studio b no i'm going to try some family pictures b and i say some man because i cry i'm with peda as a family that's our pictures now. Ubet me that can come. And we now know share this office and say, Oh, Charlie, you have a very lovely family. Uba be Japa me no hoako. Definitely no. You are going to return back to those family back home. All right. And then also no it to me convince you to know say oh you will be a your intention is to just go and study and then return back home. And you can also add a picture of your sponsor no ni pana wa koje ni bank statement na o dia kan wa application no ho no o bet me ni na twa some pictures bi na ni na ka ho se na be ya picture no we explain um this is a picture of me and my sponsor on some kind of line no so the very last one is um, um recommendation letters from churches and your company boss or school tutors all right and you know always go to your church to write a recommendation letter about you ma o pastor no and wherever you fellowship no catch your message when you are admission now you are applying for a student permit now we hear a letter from them are about to me are describe in a very nice way you know saying to charlie oh you're a good person i saw sorry no more no oh boy oh yes oh yes oh yes now um you are assuring them say you're a very good um, candidate and when you are giving the visa now you are definitely going to learn um very well and then you return back to ghana and then to help the church and then to help your community oh no, i saw an ensure letter visa and then also boss out in the age man so no i also show a very nice recommendation letter about you or try a nice recommendation letter about you now and also now they are coming with school say you don't have any work experience and then you are just a fresh graduate from school you can also talk to your teachers or your professors to also write a very nice recommendation letter about you to the visa officers explaining how hard working you are how good student you are and how um, studying in canada can go a long way to 
bring you back to Ghana to have an impact in the society. The very last one that I will share with you is useful website. This will really help you a lot. Um, usually, you know, all documents now I have discussed in this live tutorial. You know, when you put all of them together, you know, it's, the size will be more than what um, IRCC will require you to, to, to upload. And you know, anytime when you're uploading a document, let's say it is more than the two megabyte size now you can go to ilovepdf.com to reduce the size of your document all right to reduce the pdf size you can keep reducing until you get that two megabyte of um size now rcc requires you to upload now again too if you are finding it difficult in writing your letter of explanation or you can go to chat gpt and then you input whatever information you want um that's that chat to include in your letter of explanation you know? and then that chat gpt will will provide you with a very nice different types of um, letter of explanation according to what you have given that system to provide for you all right and also bet my boy now when you get your letter of explanation from chat gpt now you always have to go to grammarly to make sure say you correct all the grammars that chat gpt will give you all right it is very important since your your grammars are on point senebeya visa office are now already who application or will be able to understand and follow your explanations that you are giving to him or her all right you can also go to youtube i have a youtube channel fokukudia you can also go to youtube and then type how to write a successful um how to apply for a successful visa application and then you have a lot of videos on it and you can keep watching in order to enhance your knowledge more on how to apply for a successful visa student visa application there is no knowledge in one person's head when i made sure i am just opening your eyes on some of the things that you need to know when you want to apply for a student permit or student visa to canada when you go to youtube there are a lot of information all right and also better map well do not rush when you're applying for your student visa or your student permit it is very easy if you make sure that you search for the right information all right and the very last one someone media to read more is prayer whatever your belief is whether you're a christian you're a muslim you are a traditionalist or whatsoever no Prayer is the last thing that you have to do before you apply, you submit the uh, application button, all right? And who apply when you are, the only thing left for you is to pray for the visa officer to have that kind of sympathy on your application for you to be approved for the visa, all right? So this is the end of this particular tutorial. Please, if you still want to learn more just replay my video and then at least it can give you a fair idea on the things that i've discussed and then you can share with other people to also get to know more about what i've shared also go to youtube and then watch more videos on how to apply for a successful uh, visa uh, student visa application all right please share for other people to also benefit and i'll come again to you with another video bye bye